All right guys, in today's video, we're gonna be having a look at how to run the cruise control that's built into your DJI Mini 4 Pro. Once again, do wanna do a massive shout out to Australian company Reese who have made these video series possible by renting out their Mini 4 Pro for us to use. In case you have missed the series, Reese is an Australian company based in Sydney, new startup, um, got a really good idea going. What you do is you can rent products out from other people and you can also rent your products out to other people. Why buy it when you can reset? The website is in the description, but it's just reese.com.au. That's R-E-A-S-E.com.au. Also guys, just a reminder that I do have a website, jdvids.com.au, where I showcase all my uh, portfolio, all my services that I offer. So I just offer uh, progress update, monthly construction photo updates, and then also just basic packages if you'd like to, um, to purchase a package for real estate, so photos, videos, even do 3D images as well. You can check that out in the description I am fully insured public liability insurance and also am CASA accredited and I also hold an ABN number. It's jdvids.com.au. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, welcome to the screen recording. So what we're going to do today is, as guys in the intro, it's going to be a tutorial on how to use the cruise control on your DJI Mini 4 Pro. Now, what you need to do first of all is there's three dots. I'm just going to get the drone in the air a bit because it is picking up me. Um, so the three dots in the top right corner, hit that button. Oh, hit it again, sorry. Um, now it is going to be under control. Scroll down and you'll see button customization. Now I've already done it, but I make C2 buttons cruise control button. So what you need to do is, we'll take it up higher. There is someone else flying a drone nearby, so I just want to be careful to make sure I'm not going to collide with them. So we'll take it up to a height of, a, just say 60 meters say 80 meters and all you do is so say we want to go oh first of all I'm actually going to change the just trying to change the actual um, where is it? Oh, we want it in kilometers so there we go, so now we've got kilometers an hour and we've got it in kilometers an hour going up as well. All right, so we're gonna hit that button there. So we're gonna hit full six forward and then we're gonna hit that cruise control button. Now what happens when you hit that? It puts it in cruise control, as you can see. Okay, and then it's just gonna go in cruise control it's going to stay the same speed you can probably hear that other drone actually they are behind me so it's all good i am monitoring that making sure i'm well above them though um, so as you can see it is traveling in cruise control it should stay the same speed obviously it'll go up and down occasionally because of the um the wind um, but it should generally be uh pretty much bang on and look at that look at that quality of that drone let's get some 4k footage film for you guys so you can see that at the end so there you go, that's just it in a nutshell. This video is going to be a lot shorter because it's just cruise control, it's nothing nothing flash. Um, in the next video, we are going to be doing waypoints. Um, and then that is the final video. We are going to do one more to make it 10 and that is just going to be a general uh, review of the whole drone. Uh, we can go up still, that doesn't affect anything at all. Let's just take it up a bit further. Get to 120 meters. Max and then we'll altitude reached. let the let the cruise control do its thing. It's just gonna go ahead and keep going. Uh, we are gonna hit the return to home button now, uh, just because we're gonna bring return it back in. Uh, we are going to put on the waypoints one, and then we're gonna film the last episode, which is the review of the drone. So the waypoint one I am filming today, filmed all my videos for Mini 4 Pro today. That's just because I do have to give the drone back to Reese. It is only a rental. It is the reason I cannot give it away, however, we are going to be doing a review of what many people are dubbing the Mini 4 Pro Killer. And it's under $50 and I'm going to be giving that away. So stick tuned, stay tuned for that, sorry. Um, that may even already been <laughs> may have already been done depending on how I plan these episodes. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so you can enjoy the, well, you know what, we'll leave the return to home on so you can actually see how it works. See how it functions, see how actual accurate it is. And we'll just let it return. 
So 700 meters away. You also notice with this return home on the Mini 4 Pro, I don't know how to change this setting, but it'll actually, the altitude drops before it's hit the ground. Um, so when it gets back to you, it's actually lower, ready to land. The only thing I don't like about that is, if you're in an area where there's really tall buildings around, it could run the risk of hitting the buildings, but it does have that um, obstacle avoidance built in, so you really shouldn't have that issue. Um, we'll just keep the screen recorder going to about five minutes, and then we can add two or three minutes of um, beautiful 4K footage in for you. Um, I must say, I'm very impressed with this Mini 4 Pro, considering like how small it is. What it can do is actually pretty incredible. Like I had it out to almost five kilometers, um, as you can see in the range test that we've done. Um, but let's just bring this back now. It's just coming back. You just see it coming across the sky. So at the moment it's 119 meters above the ground, but you'll see it actually drops. Um, it does dro start dropping quite quickly once it hits nearer the thing. I like this green thing, so it actually shows you exactly where you are. It even shows the yellow home icon. Um, it is pretty warm in Sydney today, so we're based in Western Sydney. This is near Parramatta. That's Parramatta River that you can see just there. Oh, there you go. Look at that beautiful boat going past. That's going to make for some great footage. Now you'll be able to see it. Now see how that is? Still 158 metres away, but that altitude is dropping. Uh, but it's within the range of the field, so I'm not too concerned about that. All right. We'll just let it land, um, and then we'll stop it at stop it now. Actually, we'll stop the screen recording now. At the end, there will be that 4K footage. I hope you guys enjoyed that, um, and stay tuned for the next episode.